Hey guys, it's Jason Yeager with Greater Nixa Homes. And in this video, we're talking about what you need to know before buying a vacation home here in Branson. All right, so the first thing that you wanna be taking into consideration before buying a vacation home here in Branson is obviously, can you afford it, right? A lot of people have um, aspirations of owning uh, a lake house, uh, maybe with a big, large deck and those big panoramic table rock lake views, and then they get hit with the realization of how much it's actually going to cost. And then also, you have to start thinking about carrying two mortgages. That's the big thing. Um, before you get too far down the rabbit hole of getting in your car and driving around Table Rock Lake and looking at these properties, you wanna know from a lender, can you carry two mortgages comfortably? Because that's gonna take a big role in how you write that offer. Is it gonna have to be contingent on the close of another property? So if you're going to own two homes, you wanna make sure that you can afford both those mortgages. As a general rule of thumb, you're gonna to want to make sure you include all of your housing costs for both your primary home and your second home rolled into one that you don't want those to be more than a third of your annual household income. All right, so the second thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration are the upfront costs. Now, if you can remember way back when you first bought your primary residence, there were some closing costs, right? And I don't know when the last time that was, but um, you just as a refresher course, you're gonna have a lot of things that are gonna be uh, rolled into those closing costs or can be rolled into those closing costs. All of your mortgage fees, and that could include um, discount points, um, origination fees, um, just your standard lender fees, but also with your escrow, title and escrow have several different fees that are gonna be rolled into there. Um, you're gonna also wanna take into consideration title insurance, homeowner's insurance, of course, escrow deposits, and any other miscellaneous fees. If you're looking at about a $350,000 lake home, I would safely be considering about five to $6,000 in closing costs if you're getting a loan. Now, if you're paying cash, none of that applies. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration are the ongoing fees, um, typically maintaining the home while you're not there. Um, uh, definitely insurance coverage for the home for anything on the property that's not included with um, your homeowner's insurance, personal property, all of your toys. If you're having lake property, your boats and everything, there's uh, maintaining your dock. Uh, certainly those are things that you need to be taking into consideration as well. Some other uh, things that you wanna some other things that will be included in that will be like your utilities, um, the security system if you have one, um, also the cost of traveling back and forth to your home. So um, when you're identifying a property, you wanna be taking into consideration how long does it get, how long does it take to, to get to down to the property. You'll find a lot of times on here on Table Rock Lake, people look at it on a map and you think that it's like, just that far away and then you realize that you're actually traveling about 15, 20 minutes on a county road to get all the way down the peninsula just to get down to the waterfront and you're gonna be going back and forth to the store. So those are just some things that you wanna think about before buying that vacation home. All right, so the last thing that you wanna take into consideration is are you gonna rent it out? Now, whether that's long-term or short-term, you wanna have a strategy on how that property is gonna be used while you're not there. And getting with your real estate professional to discuss some of those options um, is crucial. You know, if you wanna do long-term rentals, certainly there are gonna be many, many options for you to do that. If you wanna do short-term rental, however, you definitely want somebody who is, uh, got a lot of knowledge with short-term rental and zoning, uh, permits, and what it's gonna to take to allow you to do that. Give me a call if uh, that's something that you're interested in because I can certainly help you with uh, vacation rental. That is my specialty, all right? Hope this video was helpful for you guys. My name is Jason Yeager again with Greater Nixa Homes, and I will see you in the next video.